हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज राधिका अत्रे फ्रॉम होली हार्ट्स एजुकेशनल एकेडमी रायपुर छत्तीसगढ़ आई एम श्योर यू आर सेफ एंड एट होम टूडेज वीडियो इज येट अगेन फॉर क्लास नाइन स्टूडेंट्स फॉर इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज एंड लिटरेचर मोमेंट्स बुक द थर्ड चैप्टर ईश्वरन द स्टोरी टेलर बाय आर के लक्ष्मण स्टूडेंट्स नाउ डेज इट इज ऑब्जर्व दैट मोस्ट ऑफ यू आर नॉट इंटरेस्टेड इन रीडिंग but i strongly suggest to my students who my teach and now you all to develop a habit of reading because reading is not only a great source of entertainment but it adds to our knowledge to our vocabulary and to our thinking skills uh, our today's video is uh, on the uh, lesson iswaran the storyteller and there are two main characters i am sure you must have guessed the first character which is iswaran of course and the second character is mahendra i am i have divided the entire summary in different segments for our convenience the very first segment of my summary is introduction of mahendra mahendra was a junior supervisor at a firm a firm which provided supervisors uh, for construction sites like dams bridges factories etc and therefore mahendra had to uh, move from one place to another mahendra was a bachelor a very simple person and he used to easily get adjusted with his environment mahendra had an asset in form of iswaran Iswaran who was not only a excellent cook but a housekeeper a washerman and an excellent entertainer the next uh, segment is introduction to iswaran storytelling is an art and iswaran was very good at it he used to adopt uh, techniques to captivate his listener in form of facial expression in form of body language and one more thing that he used to do was to take a pause while he used to narrate his story in pretext of either uh, preparation of dinner or laying the dinner only to raise mahendra's curiosity the next segment is iswaran's routine is after mahendra left for his home uh, office after having his breakfast and carrying his lunch iswaran used to tidy the living place he used to wash mahendra's clothes uh, he used to uh, take a bath while mumbling his prayers had his lunch and the favorite thing that he used to do was to read tamil story books and he also used to take a nap the last segment of my summary which is a big which, which is a bit longer is iswaran's storytelling qualities iswaran read stories with detailed description and thus narrated them in the same way he narrated small incidents with lot of suspense and thrill one very simple incidents was that he was walking on a road and he saw a huge tree fallen across the road but he uh, he narrated such a simple incidents in a in such a dramatic way he said once he was traveling all alone on a lonely road and he saw a huge monster in front of him first of all though he decided to move back but later he moved uh, forward and saw the huge tree fallen across the rib, uh, across the road and its branches were spread as if a beast isn't that something interesting one more such incidents that he told mahendra was about a wild elephant that had entered their village the elephant destroyed everything that came its way everybody in the village were quite frightened some of the villagers and mahendra had climbed a rooftop what mahendra did was he gathered courage took a stick and confronted the elephant he hit the 
third toenail of the elephant so hard of the uh, elephant's foot so hard that the elephant fainted and fell down on the ground when mahendra asked him how he did it he said it was some japanese technique of uh, karate or jiu jitsu in which the nervous system gets temporarily paralyzed what they uh, iswaran uh, served delicious lunch of course as usual to uh, mahendra and while mahendra was having this food iswaran told him uh, stories about ghost and supernatural elements iswaran told him that the factory site where they are living right now was previously a graveyard and a couple of times when he had been to uh, get some vegetables he had seen some bones and some skulls lying on the ground he also told mahindra that he was brave and was not afraid of ghosts and one full moon night at 12 midnight he had seen a horrible ghost of a lady with a fetus of unborn baby in her hands hearing this mahindra was very angry he told iswaran not to tell such stories because he did not believe in ghost and supernatural elements but after this incident mahendra every day in fact every night used to uh, peep out of his window to see if there was any ghost around one day one night mahendra uh, was awoken by some cry when he peeped out of the window he saw the same lady that ishwaran had described who had a bundle in in her hand mahindra was so terrified so afraid but later he calmed himself down saying that maybe it was a fiction of his imagination the next day he behaved very normally and when he was about to move for his office ishwaran told mahindra that now he should start believing in ghost after his confrontation with the ghost the previous night hearing this mahendra went to the office and resigned immediately because he didn't want to stay in that place any longer students you must have gathered that storytelling is a great art and needs a lot of creativity but one thing that i want to add is the listener is equally important because the unless and until the listener is interested the storyteller cannot give his best before i end this video i want to give you again a small task i want you to write a short note on iswaran and mahendra uh, see you very soon with another video please stay home take care of yourself bye bye